All right, y'all, so it's a beautiful, bright Friday. Uh, just got home. I think I'm gonna go out here and uh, start the car, and back it up here. I might go ahead and try to do the diffuser myself. Uh, so it's one less step ready to go, so I can get the five inch tips put on. So I guess let's get this cold start going and bring a mover up here. Come help me. Are you gonna come help me? Huh? You got your bone? You got your bone? Good girl. Daddy don't want it. You can have it. Good girl. So I think I'm gonna set this up on this tripod here. Crawl up underneath this car. Take a look exactly what I got to do. like these plastic rivet things I gotta pop out. Okay, so it looks like I need a flathead screwdriver for show for show. That's it. So I'm gonna go over here and give me a flathead. low this tripod goes. That goes pretty low. I don't know what y'all can see. I guess you can see the first rivet, I guess. First one I gotta pop out is right there. Well, 
It's a good thing I grabbed some other tools too. Like a piece of mesh shit bonding the two together as well or something here. Not that I give a fuck. That might be actual metal. Look at some bitches just all plastic. This might be like a metal rivet type deal. Teach me a lesson, huh? I decided to go ahead and do this because I'm impatient as hell. And I don't want to wait. I got a part sitting in my garage. I want to use it. I hope that wind ain't blowing too hard on y'all. Now let's go back to the flathead now that I done pop the rivet or whatever. Beautiful. Look at that. Thing of beauty. First one is done. Oh. Now. Right there, it's where I'm going next. This one, though, definitely needs to fly ahead. This ain't a metal ribbon. This is a plastic pop-in piece. There you go. Pliers too. better that way anyway so I know you know it's not a plastic piece that's stretched out or something second one done now I'll make sure before I move I didn't miss something up top because I think this off too. <laughs> anyway. Sucks doing underneath here without no space. And I'm on a hill on top of that because my driveway's kind of a hill, so it'd be nice if I was in the garage making this shit easy on me. But I'm not. what y'all are looking at. I hope y'all can see what the hell I'm doing.
the first piece will be off. Where'd you go, Kamaya? Come on, release, bitch. There we go. Ow! That didn't feel good. One more, one more. Let's see. How did I do this last time? Flathead. No, 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 no. This is the one that's got the metal, so this one here has to be cut completely. If I can see. Can't see shit. The sun is blinding me. Ow! That's a fucking bolt to the head. This one's been messed with. This one's cut already. Dirt in my face. Where in the hell did my flathead go? Yeah, this one was cut. Somebody's already cut this one or something. All I had to do is knock it out. <laughs> okay, so all these lower pieces are cut or off. I think it should pop off. So you can see a little more now. I got dirt and stuff all over my forehead. Hope y'all can see. I really do. There you go. First piece off. Now I gotta get I gotta get these things off now. Little more work. Ow! That there would be the wind, guys. I just got smacked in the head with the damn camera and the balance is running away down the hill. Wind is blowing. Well, shit. bumper though I mean really just doesn't seem that well attached at all I'm just gonna take this whole piece off which is that one
that one. Well, shit, I gotta get up. Get some more tools. Oh, I gotta get some more tools and probably a drill and take the finish taking this thing off. But as you can see, I got the actual balance black piece off. I just gotta get the two exhaust vent holes removed and then I can mount the new one. So, focus. Camera's not focusing, sorry. There we go. But uh, so let me get these, this thing removed and I'll get right back with y'all. All right, so I got the thing completely off. Went to go put the new one on and it's the wrong one. It don't fit. So after doing some research and looking at it, figured out this is for an SRT bumper, not an RT. <laughs> so they don't even line up. I don't know. But um, so now I've got to send it back. I've got to contact them, get it sent back, and get the right one out here. Um, and I hope it don't take too long because I don't want to put the old shit back on. So in my car, as you can see, that's what it looks like right now. So I do not want to take it all apart, or I mean, put it all back together, just have to take it all apart. Uh, thank God it's not a daily driver, and thank God I got other cars and whatever. Um, I probably still have to drive it like that tomorrow to go drop it off at the rim shop and everything, but um, damn, what a disappointment. Got home early, thought I was going to get my fucking diffuser on, and now my car looks like it's missing half its bumper. That's awesome. So, anyway, I guess uh, I'll have to get a hold of them and figure all that fun shit out. And... Yeah. But, now my car's stuck with half a bumper for probably a good week or so while they resend out the new one. Hopefully, that'll make me get this one back prior to sending out the new one. Um, hopefully, they'll go ahead and send it. I mean, I'm going to get this one shipped back to them. But I hope they go ahead and send mine out so I don't have to wait another... Because it looks like shit. So... Um, I guess that's it for now, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to get a hold of them. I'm going to contact the store that I purchased it from and try to get this old thing fucking worked out and situated and because this is pissing me off. It's always something, isn't it? Always something. But all right, y'all. I'll get back at you.